Dear person watching this, I know you had a stressful week. I know you've been going through trying times and especially what goes on in, in our lives on a daily basis, you know that prayers are always needed. We always tend to think about what we need to work on, what we're going through, we, what we need to be praying for, right? Um, what we need to be asking God of at different times, at different points, in any situation, we know that we always need prayer. But a lot of times we tend to forget that other people need prayer as much as we do. A lot of the times we tend to forget that other people go through similar struggles. Everybody has a different story. Everybody has a different journey that they're on. Everybody has a different grind. Everybody has a different spiritual journey, physical journey spirit or mentally mental journey we tend to forget a lot of the times that other people struggle we forget that we need to pray for them and sometimes we there's people we don't like right there's people we don't envy or we don't really see to have a relationship with we don't really see them as a friend we don't really see them as a you know someone that's close with us someone that's friendly if at all you know what i'm saying so Sometimes we, we, we tend to not want to pray for them. Sometimes we tend to not want to, you know, ask God to be with them, to be with their spirit, to be with their heart, to be with their mindset. And a lot of times we, whether you're Christian or whether you're not Christian, we don't wish the best for everyone, right? Sometimes we don't we don't really want to see them, other people win. Why do you think we don't want to see other people win? That especially people that we kind of, that we don't really have the most, you know, close bond with right you may not like something they did to you they made a you know they might have made a remark that was kind of snarky is that a word they might have done something to you they might have you know done something to you on the internet said something bad about you you know what I'm saying they might be ignoring you maybe giving you a bad look but this is one thing we need to tend we, we, we need to always remember that we need to love everyone around us as God loved us. He didn't have to give his son, Jesus Christ, on that cross. He didn't have to give him up for us, right? In the Bible, it talks a lot about homosexuality, right? And how it's not of God, right? It's of the world. And, um, you know, a lot of people, you know, they're like, oh man, I can't stand, you know, homosexuality homosexuals, gays, lesbian, da 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 right? And, you know, so I think I saw a question in the comments. I, I don't know, I might go look for it. Um, but it was, they were asking me, you know, how do you feel about homosexuality? How do you feel about people who are gay, lesbian, da 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 right? Now, it's, this video might spark some controversial. You're gonna have to take this with a grain of salt, right? The Bible talks about how we need to love everyone, right? Regardless of what they've done to us, we have to give them love, right? Regardless of, you know, who they represent, who they stand for, what they, you know, what they, what they stand for, you know, saying who they think they are, we have to, we have to continue to show them love, right? And that's difficult. That's mad difficult. But think about this. In the Bible, when it tells us to love, even people who are gay, we're supposed to love them, right? Now. This, this part may be controversial. Y'all can go crazy in the comments. I don't, bro, I, I really, like, I, I'm down to respond to any comments about this. But let's get to the point. You have to get, you have to love everyone, right? I'm not saying you have to be friends with them. I did not say that. Don't, don't, don't come to me. Don't come to me. Don't, don't come to my comment section and be like, Drake, I can't stand uh, this gay person. I can't stand this lesbian person. I can't stand these pansexual. I can't stand, bro. Don't come to me. Go to God, bro. Don't come to me. Read your word. The word's going to tell you what to do about it. For me personally, I don't dislike or I don't hate people. Now, in the Bible, it says to basically to hate what God hates, right? God doesn't hate people. God doesn't hate the individual. God hates the action. God hates the living style, right? Some people, they don't live the right way. They don't treat their bodies the right way. Our body, our body is supposed to be a temple for the Lord. We're supposed to be representing the Lord. 
And whatever you, the things you do with your body, the drugs you put in your body, the, the alcohol, the, the going to parties, the the sexuality, like all the sex, all the stuff, all the corn, like all that stuff. At least, at least, at least the pure sex. The pure sex is good for your body, right? The bad, the overindulgement, overindulgement of food, the overindulgement of drugs, the overindulgement of partying and you know what I'm saying? Overindulging of everything. It's, it's not good for you. It's not good for your body. And like the Bible says, our bodies are a temple, right? We have to be good stewards over our bodies, over our minds. Whatever we put in front of us, whatever we watch, whatever we hear, you know, that, that, that puts an effect on you. Now, some people are like, you know, the no fat thing, right? The no fat thing, don't beat you. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that, 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 right? No fat thing. Now, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not against it, right? I'm all for it, right? But this is my thing. There's a time and place for you to do certain things. That's why if you want to actually do it, marriage is obviously what the Bible wants, right? But this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. Treat your body right. Your body is a temple. What you put in your body, right, is going to reflect on, you know, your health, your well-being, your mental space, your spiritual growth. All these factors, all these different things you do on a regular basis that you don't be thinking about, that you think is just normal to do, it's, it's, impacting, your, it's impacting your entire life. What you put in your body will impact your life. Now, back to the subject of homosexuality, right? I'm not against, I'm not, I don't hate gays right there's gonna be some controversy that's in every single video that's on youtube every single video right there's gonna be controversy this one might have the most this one might not have that much as i expect but realize this you get to choose the lifestyle you want is it of god or is it of yourself or is it of the world you get to choose right because when judgment day comes God, only God can judge. People can't judge you, right? People can't judge you for being gay, even though they, they may have comments that are oh, outrageous, right? Crazy comments. They can try to say whatever they want. God's, God's ultimate judge. But biblically, it says those who aren't fully in the word on judgment day, you you know, if you if you go read the Bible, you know what it says. But I'm not going to hold you out any, any longer. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, comment down below. On the road to 4,000 subscribers. Thank you all for 3,500. Um, we're going crazy. We're going up this 2024. So um, also comment down below what you think of this video because I know there's going to be some controversy, especially if you got up to this point. Um, if you're new, welcome to the fam. And uh, yeah, thank you. God bless.